Hi everyone! Thank you for returning to Oi Chung Channel. This is Angela Oi Chung. Today my topic is omega three and omega six. I'm sure you heard about omega three a lot, but have you ever paid attention to omega six? Let's take a closer look together. Omega three and omega six are both type of fatty acid, but have different effect on the body. While both are important for optimal health. The diet ratio of omega three to omega six is important for maintaining overall well being. Omega three fatty acid are essential fatty acid that the body cannot produce on its own, so we must be obtained through the diet. Omega three is rich in fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, as well as in fat seed, chia seed, and walnut. Omega three fatty acid has been shown to have anti-inflammation effect, which can help reduce the risk of chronic disease such as heart disease, cancer, and arthritis. They are also important for brain function, and development may help improve mood and cognitive function. On the other hand, omega six fatty acid are also essential fatty acid. But they are found in many food in the typical Western diet, such as vegetable oils, nuts, and seed. While omega six fatty acid are important for maintaining skin health, regulating metabolism, and supporting the immune system, but excessive intake can lead to inflammation and contribute to chronic disease such as heart disease, diabetic, and obesity. This is why it's important to maintaining a proper balance between omega three and omega six fatty acid in the diet. The ideal omega three to omega six fatty acid ratio is around one to four, which means consuming four times as much omega six as omega three. However, the Western diet tends to have a much higher ratio. With estimating ranging from ten to one to twenty to one. Food is high in omega six, and we should reduce processed food such as fast food, frozen dinner, and packaged snack are high in omega six fatty acid and low in omega three. Fried food are also often cooked in oil high in omega six, such as Corn and soybean, vegetable oils such as corn, soybean, sunflower, and cottonseed oil are high in omega six, and should be used in moderation. Option for healthier fats such as olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil when cooking. Meat from animals that are fed a diet high in grain and soy can be high in omega six. Local meat from grass-fed animal or choose plant-based protein sources are better. Dairy products such as cheese and butter can be high in omega six, especially if they came from grain-fed animals. Choose grass-fed animal dairy product or plant-based alternative, such as almond milk or coconut yogurt. Tips for omega three. If you want to improve your overall health, increasing omega three fatty acid in your diet can be a great way to start. Here are some suggestions for food that is rich in omega three. Eating fatty foods such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel is one of the best way to get omega three. Aim for at least two serving per week. A serving of fish is typically considered around three to four ounces. Or about the size of a deck of cards. The American Heart Association recommend consuming at least two servings of fatty fish per week, which would provide around five hundred to one thousand milligram of EPA and DHA, two type of fatty fatty acid omega three that are particularly important for health. Fat seed, chia seed, and walnut are great plant based sources of omega three fatty acid. You can add them to smoothie, oatmeal, yogurt, or salad. Consider supplement if you are not getting enough omega three from your diet. A typical dose of fish oil supplement is around 
1,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. In conclusion, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid are important for optimal health, but the key is maintaining a proper balance between the two. While omega-3 are essential and generally lacking in the Western diet, excessive intake of omega-6 has been linked to chronic disease. To ensure a healthy balance, aim for a diet that includes fatty fish, plant-based source of omega-3, and healthy oil, while limiting the intake of processed food, vegetable oil, and meat from grain-fed animals. Remember to talk to your doctor before taking any supplement, especially if you are pregnant, nursing, or have a history of bleeding disorders. I want to share a feedback from one of my audience. So that was from the email. You can take a look at it. Thank you so much, Angela. I finally have my colonoscopy done after I watched your colon cancer video. I was so lucky. I have a large colon polyp and was so close to becoming colon cancer. My GI doctor was able to remove it for me during a colonoscopy to avoid surgery. So this is such a great news. Thank you for sharing. I'm so happy to hear such a good news from all of you guys. So thank you for watching my video. Give me a like if you learned something about omega-3 and omega-6. Please share and subscribe my video and my channel. I have attached the link below for my first free e-magazine, Smart My Smart Get. Please give me a feedback or suggestion on the topic you are interested in. You can leave a comment or email to oichangchannel at gmail.com. It has a link in my e-magazine for the subscription. Also, don't forget to visit my website, Pacific Vista Telehealth. It has some new products, such as bison and coagulants probiotic and a few products for skincare. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.